Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropico 6. We are playing in a randomly generated sandbox map over here, as opposed to one of the missions. Uh, and we're going very agriculture. I have not even opened the, um, the, the mining map, and I may not. I mean, out of curiosity, let's take a look at our um, resources over here. So there's plenty of stuff we could mine, but I think we're gonna go agriculture, try to preserve the environment a little bit, and then move into tourism once we hit the, Don't I think the Cold War era is when that unlocks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold War is when we start. We can start the tourism. So we're in World War era right now, we'll just advanced forward. We'll have to keep an eye on, you know, some new needs. We have a lot of unemployed citizens. We are, we are bringing quite a few. Um, we're running a penal colony, so we're gonna have lots of criminals. Uh, and we might want to start, you know, responding to that right away. One of the things I'm gonna do in, as quickly as possible, I'm gonna unlock the commando garrison and plop that down. It could really be placed anywhere. I suppose we'll, uh, we'll just go ahead and put it in here near the Pirate's Cove. We'll get ready to run some more missions. For trade routes, what we're going to do is we're going to start some fairly short trade routes just to try to boost some of the relations. So, I mean, when you run a trade route with, say, the Axis, the Allies do get a little bit upset, but mostly it's ahead. So we'll run a short coffee trade route with the Axis. Um, I suppose we could export some meat. We've got plenty of that. We'll run a short meat export with the Allies. Um, what else? We do make some sugar, so okay, we'll do a short sugar with the allies. And we don't do milk. It'd be nice to do one more Axis trade route just to sort of balance out the relations. Um, we don't really do anything here currently. So okay, we'll leave it off for now and we'll see. Of course the broker can introduce himself, that's fine. We'll leave that there. We'll try to build up some Swiss bank account as we go. Build that. We still have a little bit of storage issues with our, um, our various buildings. We got three freaking Teamsters offices. I suppose what I'll do is I'm gonna control click to upgrade all my Teamsters office to have a second shift so they can have some more job positions over here. Um, and yeah, so rather than build any more, which also has upkeep, I'll just have more people. Uh, although you do have to pay the people, but that's fine. And uh, hopefully we can keep emptying these a little bit more. With the vehicles, I don't know if they're like capacity changes or the speed changes. Feels like it must, but there we go. All right, you've got the commando garrison is up, so we can go and check our raid situation. Our pirate cove is currently heisting Stonehenge. We could go immediately into heisting a, another wonder, which might not be bad. Um, of these, I really quite like the Eiffel Tower. Um, boost tourism ratings, although most of these do as well. Maybe all of them do. But um, radio and TV broadcasts reach all of Tropico, which is just wonderful. That being said, I think it might be worth delaying actually taking the Eiffel Tower for a while, because it's not. I'm not necessarily going to rush building radio and TV stations, especially TV happens a little later. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift click the treasure hunt over here so that the um, commando garrison is permanently treasure hunting. Uh, same as their Pirate Cove, so they'll regularly bring in money and unlock more blueprints, and we'll certainly appreciate having that. Research queue, I'm just going to put in the library modes over here, so that we'll unlock everything from the colonial era first. Uh, we'll probably make sure we've got audience from the World Wars done, but then otherwise just keep it going. Okay, not bad. So, happiness, we'll have to keep an eye on. Healthcare is currently our lowest, which makes sense. We have literally zero things that are dealing with healthcare. So let's go ahead and get this started. We'll unlock the clinic and we'll get a few. So the green area, that's like the reach of the clinic, but we're probably still gonna need multiple clinics that sort of overlap over here, just because of the number of people that we're gonna have to, uh, to work with. I'm gonna get a clinic over here and um, we're gonna need probably a little more entertainment. So I'll go ahead and put a tavern behind that. There we go, just to cover this area. So you can get your shots and then you can go and do some shots. Perfect, very efficient way to spend the day. Probably the next thing we'll want is some religious stuff, but we may start to wait until we've got some demands coming in or something of that nature. I know it said there were no research points being made. I think there was just no one working there right there. We can upgrade the library to an academics department, increasing its efficiency by 25%. Our farms over here, um, Decrease the upkeep of nearby ranches and factories by $3. So we're gonna test something here. If we look at the upkeep, the budget is the upkeep, right? I mean, I assume. So this is currently at 42. If I go way over here, plantation clearly out of range. If we give you the green waste chopper and then go back over here, 39. 
So yeah, the radius, none of the radius on these buildings do anything. If I control click here and upgrade all of these green waste choppers, I don't know if they, they, they stack, that's what we're gonna check. Allies would like to be invited to an embassy. 15, there we go. So by control clicking, all of our plantations are each bringing this down. Uh, the infinite range and stackability of that is probably, that's probably a bit incorrect in an exploit. Again, I've made the case that, um, oh, I was gonna say, why are these X'd out? Those are the ones we were running when we changed eras, so then they just got canceled at that point. Um, I've talked about before how I think, shush you, oh my God, stop popping up a million things. I got things to say, wow, I've got a ton of money. 93,000 we just exported, holy cow. Um, I think the multiculture mechanic, I kind of am okay with. It sort of vaguely makes sense. I mean, maybe the numbers could be tweaked a bit, but I think like the range on the multiculture is fine. But yeah, the um, the range on some of the others, I don't know. Increase of interest on nearby pineapple plantation by 10%. I'm willing to bet this stacks with like all pineapple plantations on the islands. Now, I only have the one right now, so I won't worry about it. I'm just checking to see if there's any other upgrades that I would like to do at this time. Um, there we go. Increased job quality on the banana plantation. That sounds fine. Selective breeding. Increased efficiency by 1% per month up to 20%. Yes, please. The tobacco has a 50% one, but it's not available until the Cold War. You don't want to miss that one. Bigger buckets. Increase the amount of job or decreases. You need fewer workers, but we get an efficiency boost. Yes, please. Cotton mechanization. Increase upkeep, but increase the job quality, which will make people happier. So yeah, sure, we'll do that. We got money to spend. Okay, done. Now, we want a police station, we want an embassy. I see no reason why I wouldn't build those right away. Um, police station is government? Yeah, so police station over here. I mean, the police station's a really good idea because we do have the, um, um, the edict for the prison colony, so that seems okay. Now, the dungeon can he keep prisoners. The, uh, the prison can do it, and I think have different modes. What are our work modes over here? Out of sight, out of mind, or convict labor. Decrease the efficiency, but generates money. We're gonna do that. So I think by decreasing the efficiency of the dungeon, I think it keeps people in the prison longer. So they don't go back and become a useful member of the workforce over here as quickly. On the other hand, they do make a little bit of money. And you know, we're gonna be evil here, so that sounds good. So police station being built, that's gonna be one of our missions, and we will need um, an embassy. In fact, I will build two embassies. Uh, like literally right next to one another over here done and done and then I was also thinking I got tons of money I should probably get the bank going it takes a lot of money to unlock but I think we will appreciate having it there there you go like that because then we can start to earn interest on our banked money although they I did just spend a lot hold the rocks but suddenly uh, Stonehenge we gotta wait two years to be able to continue and, oh right, we still have a, an available trade route. I guess I'll run this coffee sugar again. Um, I would like, oh, here we go. We're gonna run this uh, this pineapple one, say for the axis, because now we're doing two for each. We're gonna keep, oh, I think some, some trade routes just finished. Now I get it. We'll keep running short ones until we can get the plus 20%. We'll do a tobacco one over here. And Coco, just because that's what we've got. All right. And then they will like us a lot more once we get the embassies as well. Uh, we might be able to get 20% on all export trade routes. So again, we're going to stay very agricultural. In tropical, f in, in versions of tropical prior to this, that would have made the communists happy. I actually don't know how much they care. Bunkhouse, they like that. Yeah, I don't think they care about farming. In, in I think versions of Tropical, like f version four and before, um, having lots of farms would make the communists happy. Having lots of industry would make the capitalists happy. Now, different things. The mechanics changed a little bit, but you know, you still get there in the end. So we got the money, we got this, it's slowly being built. We only have the one construction office, but I think that's okay. I did plop down a lot of things very quickly here, but I'm kind of okay. Um, broker, now, I don't yeah, want that to just lights up whenever you change your offers which is different from this. Maybe what I'll do is I will unlock another slot for requests. Oh, it's with Swiss bank money, Never mind. So we'll hold off on that. And actually, I wanna make sure that we've got the building permit. Now, I'll, I'll still queue it up this way, it's gonna be all right. 
Might want to build more than one library here. How's our worker situation? Eh, some unemployment, not a ton. Oh, and we got our first pro protest. Faith happiness. Yes, I will promise Just to raise faith happiness, which should be fairly easy to do. I will build one church. Because the problem is right now, this chapel is going to be full most of the time. If we go, so if you go to overlays and you say, look at faith coverage, that will show you that, you know, everyone's within radius of this chapel. But it doesn't show you, so you think, oh, or they're being satisfied. No, this is not really the right mode to look in. First of all, it does highlight the fact that this church is current, or this chapel is currently full. So that should be a hint that you don't have enough. But the other thing is instead of faith coverage, look at something like faith quality. So you see all these red buildings. These are places that aren't able to satisfy their faith needs. So it really emphasizes the fact that clearly you need more religious buildings. And we're going to do that. We're going to go, actually, I'll unlock the church. And, um... I suspect we're going to want one here and here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just build a church right here for now. Uh, will that block that road? It will. All right, let me build it this way. And then what I'll do is I'll save this room maybe for a cathedral later. Uh, this should be enough to satisfy the protesters' faith happiness request. Uh, for an election promise, it probably won't be enough. I used to think it was percentage based. I think the promises, like the protest protesters always like raise it by seven. The election promise might be like raise it by 15 or 20 or something like that. It might be a fixed amount. Trader complete, let me come back, right back to you. So allies are gonna be invited to this embassy. 99 relations, so that's good. And then here, axis, so 85. I'm gonna praise you, which I think costs money, but we've got money. Yeah, five grand. Brings you up to 98. And then we have a request for a high school, which sounds great. Thanks awfully. I have tons of money. I'm going to take the Swiss bank account money. And actually, speaking of, I'm now going to go ahead and unlock an extra slot over here. The broker would like me to complete a loot raid. Sure. I'm not, I'm not keen on loot raids. Because we don't really need these. But, uh, yeah, we'll do, I don't know. We'll just queue up one of these. Eventually, that'll satisfy the broker and we'll get some Swiss bank account money. And that's going to be fine. So you wanted a high school. I did, um, oh yeah, there's a police station here. Actually, let me wait for these things to get built first. Unless I want to put down another construction office. And I will need one at some point, just as we spread out more, but I think one's okay. So the bank, then default behavior, earns us interest on our money. Let's get a couple, or one foreign worker there for college. Advanced boat research is... Our money's at work, Prez. I optioned the stock, stocked up on options, and stopped all the auctions. I have lots of money, so I'm tempted to take the capital of standing. It might burn away before we have an election, but I really don't need the cash. So I'll take the standing for now. Um, I was about to do something. You keep The game keeps distracting me. I don't remember. We have a police station. That's good. Could have a second shift, maybe. Damn it, game. Oh, that's right. Um, our research just finished over here. So I want to make sure the building permit is in the queue because that's let's just really inflate our Swiss bank account. Freighters are still making us tons of cash. And yeah, ever since I like discovered like, listen, just spam out a ton of farms um, to start off with and your, your early economy is going to be nice. Things have gotten a lot better. Um, so trade over here. Yeah, see, we're at 20%. We are not making cigars. Cigars is really, really good money though. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. Let's take a look. How much more tobacco can we grow? We got some good spots there and some good spots over here. And I think that's where we're gonna go. Um, oops, changed it. Yeah, I'm gonna extend this road out as is. Like, then we might be able to jam a few things in if we um, if we place the road a little differently, but that's okay. This is not ideal because it's only going let to it, let us get five rows instead of six. So for, for me, as long as it's 90% or above, I'm kind of okay. So I'm going to go tobacco, tobacco. That was 98, which is kind of nice. 98 again. 94. 81. All right. That's still, that's going to be, we have a total of five tobacco plantations, which I think is going to be more than enough to run two cigar factories. 
and uh, a lot of times I put my industry near the docks because it kind of makes sense. You bring everything to that factory, you produce it, and then it goes right out to the dock. We're kind of a little tight on space here. We could end up building more docks, but I think what I'll do is that I'll end up building the cigar um, in the factories somewhere over here because one of our, I think this is tobacco. No. Oh, your tobacco over here. Mm, okay. But yeah, maybe if we build that up over here or something, it's going to be all right. They will pollute a little bit, but not too much. I think what I'll do is I'll build a couple of uh, cigar things here and maybe plan on putting a dock right over here in the future. Just to save a little bit of walking time. And get a little bit more frequency of boats too. Like, you don't trade more. You don't make more money, but it can improve the sort of time that you're waiting for things. That is an expensive blueprint, but... Hmm, put them back to back, but they would stick out a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll just do this. One, two. Yeah, we'll just get this road here for now. We'll see. Now, of course, we can start working. Uh, we can start producing power now. I'm not sure if I'm too concerned with getting that at this time. Ah, set sail for... Suddenly solstice. Oh, uh, the tanneries. I'm gonna upgrade both of you with the control click. Chrome tanning, so we need fewer hides. More export trade routes. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll do a big cigar out export. Uh, we're also growing cotton. Maybe we'll I'll do a medium one. So we don't do it in bulk too much. Uh, and some hides over here. Okay. Need your help, Presidente. Complete a rescue gone. raid with the Pirate Cove. We will queue up a rescue of educated in the Pirate Cove over here. Oh yes, and we still want a high school. Let's do that. Uh, media education, paid unlock the high school blueprint. Um, be a little gap, although we could put a tavern next to the high school, which is always a fun thing to do. There you go, let's do it because we're still gonna need a little bit more entertainment. I suppose I could put a clinic there too. Let's take a look, what's our happiness situation? Um, Almanac, faith is the lowest. Hopefully it's still going up. Housing, healthcare, and fun. All right, I will put a clinic, since it fits so well, right next to the high school over here. You're full up. Um, now what I could do is I could increase the budget of these buildings if I was really concerned about the faith happiness I could just build another building too It's disasters, probably just disasters. worth doing that the crew is sobering up. Oh, We're I'm gonna spend money they are We've got the money. We're gonna keep going with the wonder uh, If I were to go to the overlays faith quality yeah full full Yeah, I think we'll get a lot of value out of just building another church and I will build it over here to be ready to develop sort of another little town center in this area. Speaking of which, I should probably get grocers and whatnot. But we'll see. Any upgrades for the cigar factory? Automated lines. Doesn't use power. So you get fewer workers but increased efficiency. That seems like a good thing to do. I like automation. Freighter money. Lots of people coming in. Anyone in prison? Oh, tons of people in prison. We're probably going to need to build a proper prison as well here. Jeez. Raid complete, treasure hunt, raid points. Well, that's the, um, yeah, the commando garrison is doing those, which is fine. Mostly what we want, though, is we want you to make us money or unlock some blueprints for us. Some increasingly expensive blueprints. All right, we'll make sure to upgrade you to an automated line as well. Uh, you're waiting for goods, but overall you can see no nothing sitting with full storage or anything. I think our three Teamsters office with the double ships are are getting plenty of work done. Just waiting for, well, I guess we haven't had many tobacco uh, plantations actually grow. Also, you guys have to be set to multiculture. And what the hell, I'll give you the green waste chopper. We're soon we're going to get to the point where our ranches are free. I wonder if they can go negative and start making us money for maintenance. <laughs> Just completely break the game. Local market, output is decreased, but yacht clubs and banks, no, yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> oh, we could get a lot of banks, because I think they stack for interest. There's a monthly cap on how much your bank can earn, but yeah, 5% interest up to a cap of 1,000. 
So more banks, I think, stack the percentages you earn, but I think the cap is the same. Double, rebel threat decreased to none, which is good because you have no military. We may want to get some. We'll see. Uh, I have a high school. Oh, oh, it's not done yet. It looked finished to me, but there it We've is. We've done it. The rocks rolled off the deck and, and we've got Stonehenge, I think. Build high school. Support, uh, I'll take the communist standing. We got 83% approval. Sick. And I will hire some foreign workers just to make sure we have enough high school educated people to have the high school continue to operate well. So, um, church fee. We'll wait until we might get a mission for it. We'll see. Free housing, child allowances, maybe. Agricultural subsidies. There we go. Efficiency of all agricultural buildings increased by 25%. So does their upkeep. But I don't care. Makes the, uh, doesn't make the capitalists happy, but the communists are. Hopefully, we'll keep the capitalists, I think, fairly happy overall, though. I, I expect. Rebel threat is now low. Yeah, so it's probably a good idea to get some military. I might want to wait until we get some missions, you know, requesting it, but we'll see. Um, so let me take a look at our... So conflicts, rebel threat low. All right. I mean, there might be some more people we just don't know about. Foreign relations is excellent. So politically, militarists, capitalists... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Economy's obviously smoking. A few vacant jobs, not too many. And yeah, we'll have to, uh, maybe we'll put down Stonehenge over here. And uh, set up our little, um, our little logging industry. Logging into boating. Which is a very big money maker. Circus research, so we've unlocked some new work modes for the circus. So fewer work slots, more money. More work slot decreases the quality. Um, I mean, you know, it's nice that it makes a little bit of money, but I think I want the, I want to make sure there's lots of visitor slots over here, but it's that, that it's high quality. So I think I'm gonna leave it on default over here to try to get maximum enjoyment out of everything. We got the blueprint for an apartment. Well, that's swell. Can't believe our approval is 83% right now. One of the big things is right now. That's why they call them. I'm gonna discard here. I don't want coconuts. I'm not gonna be doing that. Uh, go loot raid. Um, one of the things right now is the Caribbean happiness. So if we go here, overall happiness. Caribbean happiness 38%. So people on Tropico are happier than the entire of the Caribbean. Um, so there's two things. One, it increases immigration, and two, it means our support is quite high. But Caribbean happiness goes up over time. Now, is it the commandos? Yeah, can intimidate neighborhood neighbors and help to keep Caribbean happiness low, which makes Tropico look better by comparison, which makes it easier to win elections and make sure you have immigrants, although um, you'll always get some immigrants, and of course you'll get some local uh, some local births as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and expect to have a road over there. Agricultural subsidies go up. We have unlocked President, a new mode for the, the library. Have a you would like me to build a radio station. Well, I'm gonna accept. We will need power to run a radio station. We'll see. What is this? Public services, uncensored portfolio. So it'll generate less knowledge but emit liberty. Yeah, I don't think I actually need those modes to be running. Power. Hmm. Maybe. Now, of course, our power plants, because right now all we can do is build this power plant here. So this will pollute. We'll have to keep that in mind. Now, this might be this might be Tourism Island since it's got um, an old cultural site. Or this might be because it looks very beachy to me, but it doesn't really matter. Because I might want to have the power plant far enough away that it's not too much of an issue. Oh, um, let's, so roads here. Yeah, see, I can't do that. Um, tunnels, how do they work? It's through elevated terrain, yeah. Part of the tunnel is not underground. See, that's the thing. Like, I can do this, but then I can't do... I guess we could do this, technically. Maybe just to make it look less derpy. There you go, we'll do this. So you go in here and come out there on slightly different levels. That works. 
All right, so now these two pieces of land are connected. Because, yeah, there's no coast here, so you can't set up, like, you know, any docks or anything of the sort um, in this place. But what I'm wondering about is building, like, the power plant down here. Oh, what I want to do, because I'm talking about mostly going agricultural, but it might be worth... Ah, those are coal mines over there. Because we're going to be probably coal-powered early on. I really would like to keep pollution far away. Unless we don't do any power until we get to the next era. Because Cold War, we can do this. And so nuclear power in the... Oh. Can we see where uranium is right now? Yes, we can. We have no uranium. I mean, we can just import this stuff, but that's expensive. <sighs> Crumbs. Okay, so if this is Tourism Island, maybe we'll just we'll just accept that this is Tourism Island. So if we keep the pollution further over here, that's going to be kind of okay. Um, so let's consider a tiny little bit of coal mining. Just a soupçon of coal mining. Coal mining. Um, up here should probably be okay. We can actually stick a couple on here. We could even get a couple more over here. Let's just start with this. So, road-wise... You can have more curvy roads, but... Then uh, you out. Connect you up this way. Probably expect something like this. There we go, that's straight. Um, if you're gonna be out here, we're gonna need a few things. Probably a good idea to have a local Teamsters office. Maybe I'll um, construct, well, maybe not there, but let's say at this intersection here. Finally get a second construction office going on. Uh, buy the blueprint for the power plant. As I say, you need road access somewhere. All right here, I'm gonna put you lower priority so we can build the mines first. Uh, as I say, build a parking deck. We need, um, we need the free cars thing for this to really work. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I will get our other dock built over here, actually. Let me extend the road out first, just so I can sort of vaguely line things up. We've got another dock for exports. Like that. There we go. Straight road, straight road, something like this. Okay. Yeah, our Keemsters don't have to go so far to get our, our cigars out. Plus, there'll be some other goods over here. And more regular boats. It'll be nice. Subsidies, super power lines. Yeah, we have to ally with someone. All right, so we'll have coal. We'll do that. Can we do oil right now? Or is that something that comes later? I guess you can do land oil right now and then sea oil later on. Do we have, and this is, again, very polluty. I, kinda, I really want to try to avoid a little bit. Oil... Oh, we do have oil right there, too. I think it's, it, it makes a lot of sense. We'll unlock the oil wells. We could really go ham on them. We'll set up trio. And I know we got the apartment uh, blueprints. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run urban development for a discount to building housing. Um, maybe we'll, we'll try not to be right next to the pollution, although honestly, it's still going to be very polluty over here, so this is hardly going to save us anything. So I'm going to build a smattering of apartments in a few different spots here. Um, oh, two of you, I need there we go. Uh, people do have to be at least well off to live in apartments, so we still have to worry about bunk houses, and maybe later on we'll build tenements. I suspect this is too many apartments, actually, and we cancel you with you. So there's going to be a, a maximum number of people who can live there. But we'll just try to make sure that happiness and approval stays okay enough. Again, you know, maybe maybe I half of people will live in houses as opposed to shacks. Speaking of houses, religious people would like me to build two. So the house also needs to be well off. It's like, a, it's just a mini apartment. It's probably worth just like splatting it down somewhere. Especially they're a little smaller, so it's easy to, to jam in. Oops. 
And you know what? I think we could probably just get a little tavern over here, too. See, because our entertainment's still fairly full. Um, oh, we actually can't fit one in there. Never mind. Okay, well, we'll see. Building restaurants is also good. It's, you know, higher service quality, a little more people. But I think, that, again, they have to be well off where taverns, like, poor is fine. So we're going to want a mix of different entertainment because at some point we'll probably get missions for it. But so far, so good. Uh, speak, so far, though, what we have to do is we have to put a cut in this video. So we're going to do that. We still have a ton of money right now. That's been going well. No rebel threat. People are pretty satisfied, which is good because we have no military. Um, I don't want to get that started at some point. We have no trade routes currently. Cheeses. I guess we'll do a big cigar. Maybe we'll do a big coffee export to the Axis as well. Oh, never mind. My trade routes are now full. Okay. I might have doubled up on the cigar. I don't know. But cigars are making. We got tobacco. We got tobacco. We're just waiting for some people. They probably have to walk from like all kinds of places. Um, cause is it only the rich right now? Yeah, you have to be rich to drive a car. Probably will be worth to get, you know, other things. And we could, you know, set up the, the garages, but I find them a little awkward. So we'll probably just wait. It'll hurt our, our transportation a little bit. People will take longer to get places. But for now, it's okay. Actually, before I forget, because we are going to end this episode here, but I'm going to get a grocer here. And maybe over here. Doesn't even reach absolutely everything, actually. Maybe we'll get another one over here. Because this will save people a lot of time from having to walk around to get their food. And I think it increases food quality a little as well. All right, folks. Thanks for watching another episode of Tropical 6. I'm going to see you guys next time.